Hey, this is Rick with Scottsdale Urban Farms. We are really working, putting in some hours and manual labor. <clears throat> uh, you know, at 56, going to be 56, uh, this, is, this is great exercise. Right there. Swinging that thing, man, it gives you a great, great workout. Uh, there's some warm groceries. We're building a grocery store in the middle of this. Uh, but what I'm excited about, and I want to kind of share with you when, you, when you urban farm in the desert, I mean, we're in the middle of the desert. Yeah, we live in a house, we're in a community, and we have all of the things that we need, but the ground is still tough. The ground is still desert soil, uh, and, and we have to work really, really hard to build that. And uh, today's video is about taking advantage of current situations and, and utilizing the rain. Uh, because this ground, uh, for the last year, we've been prepping for it. We've had wood chips, piles like, like those. We've had piles of wood chips. And we've been, this particular area of the farm... We've been prepping this. We've had uh, compost, uh, leaf compost, for the the last seven, or no, I'm sorry, since 2013, right in this area. So we've been making good soil all along, and you can tell that this rocky, nasty soil uh, that we started with in 2013, uh, that we've been conditioning and grooming for this event, you know, that, that what we call delayed gratification, um, is paying off. So we've started to give life to this soil by allowing it to uh, get decomposition, uh, de decomposting, decompo uh, or things uh, decompose, and and this is a great, this is a great, uh, this is all uh, stuff that we harvested, stocks and tomato stocks and uh, cabbage and and you can see some mustard right there. Uh, we're gonna bury this. And this is going to become a, uh, a warm grocery store. And we'll start to attract worms in there. And like we did on the inside with our, uh, our, our 10, 20 uh, discards from our microgreen business, we'll put those out here as well. Uh, and we, we map it all out so we know what's getting what and where it goes. And so we're paying attention to every square inch of this soil. Uh, because that really the long-term goal for the farm is to really... make it about the soil because if we make it about the soil the crops that we grow are going to be amazing they're going to be filled with life and nutrients uh you know the way god intended those to be and that's that's our purpose is to grow just really really good organic uh long-term sustainable food for for our family and and, and those who share with those in the community as well but uh the orchard uh the orchard got a nice soak last night we were able to uh, have a slow soaker uh, throughout the whole night. <clears throat> and we're really grateful for that as well. And uh, you can see our little Anna Apple is doing awesome. So proud uh, of this little one here. And then we have uh, another one over here that uh, we're, we're super excited about. So anyway, take care, everybody. Happy Friday. Uh, and hope everybody uh, has a great, a great weekend and enjoy the rain because it's super, super awesome.